Hello, everyone. As the submission deadline tomorrow at 10 a.m. draws near, we've kind of been getting a few frequently asked questions. So we just wanted to address them today, and Leo is going to go through them and answer them with us. So firstly, Leo, how should we calculate the total cost of the experiment, especially if we have both reusable and one-time parts? So uh, in the participation or the participants' guidelines, uh, we wrote that uh, the maximum cost should be $20 for reusable kits and $5 for one-time kits. Uh, so that's pretty clear if you have one or the other. But if you have a reusable component, uh, just make sure that the consumable side uh, will only cost a maximum of $5 every time the experiment is performed and that the uh, reusable part will obviously have to be $15 or less. What's the difference between the video that goes on Dev Post and the final presentation in front of our judges panel? The video that goes on to Dev Post is really your chance to shine with the public. Uh, it is uh, a, the, the part that will get you potentially that $500 People's Choice Award. And, and that comes by people voting. And so it should be two minutes long kind of like an ad, be kind of flashy, talk about things uh, about how, talk about how cool your project is at teaching uh, the scientific topics that you're trying to teach. And of course, how it links to uh, uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So again, that's more on a high level, let's come on and look at how cool uh, we do our stuff. Now, your five minute presentation and live demo on Sunday um, will be to a panel of judges who don't know what you have done so far. So they have received a list of judging criteria that you can also find in the participants guidelines. And you want to make sure that you hit all of these points. Now, five minutes is not a lot of time. So we really encourage you to rehearse um, and to focus on the parts that you think are your biggest strengths. So if you do did find a really cool low cost material uh, that you're using uh, for a very creative purpose, then obviously spend more time on that. Uh, but don't forget again, uh, reference our challenge and talk about how your experiment can impact sustainable development in the Philippines. Thank you, Leo. Uh, what are the learning goals to be discussed in the teacher's manual? So the teacher's manual is a very important part of uh, the overall hackathon because th these things will actually be used in our, our big book that we send to the Philippines when we go there uh, on our RISE visits. So the learning goals is important for teachers because those things can actually help them check the boxes of what they need to teach in a particular year. In the Google Drive that you all have access to, there's a folder called Philippines Science Curriculum Reference Documents. So please take a look at uh, the documents here, uh, find the parts that are relevant to you and reference them in your teacher's manual. So I'm gonna open up the grade uh, 12 physics document, for example. You can see that there is a list of learning competencies listed. So these are very specific statements of what students are supposed to learn in that particular year. So uh, if you find the ones that are most relevant for your experiment, uh, copy and paste these learning competencies as well as their associated code into your teacher's manual to really help the Philippines teachers figure out whether your experiment is relevant for them or not. On that note, how do we actually submit the teacher's manual? So teacher's manual, uh, we need it in uh, two different formats. Uh, so the first way to, uh, the first thing to do is go back to that uh, Google Doc or Google Drive folder. Take a look at the teacher's manual template and style guide folder. And in the teacher's manual template file, what you can do is use this, make a copy onto your own Google Drive, and then start filling out your actual content uh, in the file. And then once you're done doing that, delete the first two pages, which is just the instructions, and then go to file, download, PDF document, and it will create a PDF version of your manual onto your computer. 
Now all you need to do is upload that PDF uh, document onto DevPost using the upload a file uh, function. And then go back to your uh, teacher's, manual, uh, teacher's manual, go to the share button, and then you can go to get link. Make sure it says anyone with the link uh, can edit, uh, copy the link and paste it over to, paste it over to, paste it over to DevPost. And uh, we can then uh, copy and paste your manual and actually publish it uh, for our next trip. Thank you so much, Leo. And as our projects are kind of wrapping up, how do we get a reimbursement for all our costs? The reimbursement is super simple. Again, I'm going to go back again to the uh, Google Drive. There is a reimbursement form here. That's an Excel spreadsheet. Download that to your computer, fill it out, and uh, make sure that uh, you submit it back to us by October 19th uh, with the scans of your original receipts uh, attached in the same email. Now, we'd like to ask you to uh, only submit one reimbursement form per team uh, just to minimize our paperwork. Um, and if you spent in another currency other than Canadian dollars, please convert that currency to Canadian dollars before submitting. Um, and it might take us a couple of weeks to, uh, to fully reimburse you with the funds, but we will do it for sure. Uh, so make sure again, you submit that to us by October 19th to hackathon at pueblosciences.org. Thank you so much, Leo. And hopefully that was really helpful for you guys and will kind of reduce your stress tomorrow morning. And just another reminder, the soft deadline for dev post submissions is at 8 a.m. and the hard deadline after which the dev post submissions will close is at 10 a.m. Uh, make sure if you have any other questions to ask us in the general questions chat on the Discord. Besides that, good luck, everyone. Yep, yeah, good luck, have fun. <laughs>